It seems fairly likely that some period of executed incarceration will certainly be sought by the government. Adam Ruther is a white collar criminal defense attorney in Baltimore who says Marilyn Mosby is likely to spend time behind bars for perjury and mortgage fraud. It wouldn't be surprising to see a, a sentence, you know, probably anywhere from the range of six months to 18 months. You know, a sentence that communicates seriousness for the offense. This is Ms. Mosby's second federal criminal conviction in less than four months. The jury at her first trial found her guilty on two counts of perjury. That was in early November. On Tuesday night, the second jury announced its decision, finding Mosby guilty of one count of mortgage fraud for lying about the source of closing funds so she could get a loan at a lower interest rate to buy a condo on the Gulf Coast of Florida. Ms. Mosby, what's your reaction to the verdict? Though she sobbed in the courtroom as the verdict was announced, there was no comment from Ms. Mosby as she exited the courthouse last night. Her legal team also had no comment on the verdict or what happens next. Mr. Wyda, can you give us any reaction to the verdict? We're not going to talk about any it. Comment? Thank you. It'll take several months before any sentencing hearing, Mr. Ruther says. He also believes the judge will consolidate the three counts into a single hearing, adding the sentence will be calculated based on the mortgage amount that Ms. Mosby's fraudulent gift letter helped secure. That's the amount of money she borrowed, not the amount of money she lied about. So it'll be triggered based on the 428000 not the 5000 Late today, the court docket was updated with a sentencing date on the calendar. That hearing currently set for May 23rd at 10.30 a.m. But there's also the question of will she be sentenced on three counts or two because the judge also set a date for next Friday to take up the defense motion for judgment of acquittal, which was first submitted way back on day three of this trial on January 24th. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News. Kate, still a lot of steps to take. Thank you very much. As you know, Kate, today, Baltimore City Mayor Brandon Scott was asked if he could still trust the City Council President. Nick Mosby is not facing charges, but during the trial that led to his ex-wife's conviction, he was compromised by his own testimony. Here's what the mayor had to say. I'm also thinking about their, fa their family, most notably uh, those two beautiful little girls. But as long as he is serving in that role as council president, he has a duty to, to do that role. And the voters in Baltimore will determine whether he should have that or not. For me, I just have to do my job and work with whoever's in the role. Now, the mayor was also asked if he thinks members of city council will call for Mosby's resignation as city council president. He responded by saying... That's for them to consider, and his focus will remain on improving Baltimore City. And 11 News coverage continues in the WBAL-TV app. Our interactive timeline of Marilyn Mosby's cases follows the investigation to the indictments to the trials. Just tap News.